In March 2010, a landslide in Ibududa killed over 100 people. Similar incidents have occurred, and in 2015, over 300 people reportedly perished in the disasters. The government has been doing a lot of work to relocating people. When we lost over 300 people, the government started a program to relocate people, to construct houses in Bunamutie. Do you know that place? And uh, since that time, about to work at Wagayo, the government has been doing a lot of work. This program was supported by the American non-government organization Give Directly to help the affected people in rebuilding their lives. Each family was allocated 7 million shillings. We had a total of 2,116 people who were already identified by Give Directly. And as we talk now, Give Directly has given some money to 1,988 beneficiaries. Prime Minister Robin Anabanja launched a resettlement exercise today by allocating them 10 million shillings and two acres of land for each family. So I want to thank the president for, because he's the one who said, no, 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 let us also give them the two acres. And so I am happy that today we are going to launch this program. In doing so, the prime minister today released 2.7 billion shillings to 276 families, and the funds are being dispersed through Post Bank. The resettlement program is set to benefit over 4,827 families from the 10 districts of Bududa, Manafa, Namisindwa, Silonko, Kapchorwa, Mbare, Bukwo, Bulambuli, and Kwen. But the Prime Minister Robin Anabanja issued a three month ultimatum to them to comply or they would be evicted forcefully from the disaster prone areas. Are we together? Yes. And so, are we together? 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 Are we It will not be good if we launch the transfer today and again we hear that people came back and settled in those high risk areas. Let's comply so that government can support. They are lying, you right, Honorable Prime Minister. These people are ready to relocate because they are living in very dangerous areas. If you can see all those mountains, everywhere is dangerous. So people are willing, people should not bring wrong information that people are not willing. These people, that's why they have come. Those people, those are the, the beneficiaries. They are Despite the government intervention, Bududa leaders want government to establish a disaster fund at the sub-county level to restore the landslide-affected areas. Not to wait for disasters to happen. The government should also make availability of funds to restore degraded areas and sustainable management of the environment. This financial year, Parliament approved 57.6 billion shillings to procure land, but only 12 billion shillings has so far been released for the resettlement exercise. <laughs>